Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nays Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nays Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happened to stumble across this video, and today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my Book of the Month YA December unboxing. You are going to see two different clips for this video, just because these boxes were supposed to come at the same time, but they delivered this box at 6 o'clock in the morning, and the next box they're not delivering until 4 p.m., so, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record them on the same day, so if not, it'll be the same unboxing of different books from Book of the Month YA, but with a different shirt. Hopefully that just made sense, but they're all Book of the Month YA picks. So, I have a box that I got myself, um, and then I have a box that was gifted to me, so... Yes, I am an affiliate. Um, I don't make any money. The only thing I get is a book credit when you guys sign up with my link. So that's pretty much it. But um, if you are interested in Book of the Month by A, my affiliate link will be down below. You can use the code YES5 to get your first box for $5. And that's going to be valid until the end of December. But for those of you guys who don't know what Book of the Month YA is, Book of the Month YA is basically a book subscription box that you're paying for a brand new hardcover book that is going to be $15, $14.99, and you can add up to two additional books in your box for $10 each. So you're paying anywhere from $15 for one brand new hardcover, $25 for two, or $35 for three. This is strictly just a book. It's going to be an early release, a backlist um, novel, or a debut novel from a new author. And I personally love Book of the Month, YA and Book of the Month. This is my Book of the Month shelf, and you guys see I love them. They all come custom printed from Book of the Month Club, which I think is awesome. And, um, you know, most book subscription boxes start at $25, ranging up to $50. And you don't get to pick the book that you want. You also don't really have a say in all the knickknacks. Some people like the knickknacks, some people don't. I would love to sign up for a lot of the book subscription boxes out there, but one, they're a little too pricey for me right now, just because I do have a son and have other obligations, obviously. Um, and two, I don't want to get the same book in multiple editions from different companies. What I love about Book of the Month YA and Book of the Month is that you get five selections to pick from. Now, previously, it was you were able just to pick any book that Book of the Month YA had, but they did, I believe, change up their system, which sucks. But you basically get five selections for the month to pick from, and you pick one of those five books as your Book of the Month, and then you can add two additional books, whether it be from the Book of the Month for the month that you're in or one of their other additional books from like a past month. They do have some books that they don't add on as like a monthly pick. They're just add-on books. So they do have a large range. For the YA section, you have fantasy, you have contemporary, you have romance, you have historical. Um, I think they had some magical realism as well. But we are going to dive straight into this unboxing. Oh, and quickly, before I dive into my unboxing, I did forget to mention you can sign up for Book of the Month on a monthly kind of basis. You can do three months, six months, and 12 month subscriptions as well. I do the monthly because you can just cancel or sort of skip the month anytime you choose. But we're going to run through the five picks. I do have two of the five Book of the Month picks. And yeah, so the... First pick is going to be a romance, which is Heartstrings and Other Breakable Things. It's a debut Nabu from Jacqueline Ferkins. The second book is going to be Where the World Ends. It's historical fiction by Geraldine McCoffrin. Um, it's on the screen, so you can see that picture and the author. The third is going to be Reverie by Ryan LaSala, which is a fantasy. This one I know has um, LGBTQIA rep in it. The fourth one is Historical Romance, and it's called Dangerous Alliance. It's a debut novel by Janique Cohan. It's on the screen. I, I'm bad at pronouncing names. And the fifth pick is one that I probably should have got from Book of the Month, but I had already ordered the book. So that's why I didn't pick it. Um, and it's Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, the third and final book in the Folk of the Air trilogy, which I haven't read yet. It is fantasy, and they have that as a selection for the month, which I think is awesome. So definitely, if you want to grab that, snag it while you can. I have my copy right here of Queen of Nothing, which if you guys saw my November book haul, you know that I hauled it. But we have a copy here, and um, I have not read it yet. <sighs> It came out December 3rd. I haven't read it yet, and I don't know if I'm going to wait until the, till next year to just been read the entire trilogy over. Um, I have read Wicked King and Cruel Prince already. 
Cruel Prince is the first book, Wicked King is the sequel. Um, but I'm just, I'm excited because I heard that Jude and Carden get, an get it on in this book. So I'm just like, <laughs> do I wait? Do I read it now? So we'll see, but we have that. Okay, so on to my unboxing. So if you don't know what Book of the Month YA boxes look like, they look like this. They're pink. They're really pretty. Regular Book of the Month is going to be a blue box. This one is going to be pink with some fun little designs on it, some little doodles. And I just really, really love Book of the Month YA. I did already um like cut my box open so that I'm not struggling on camera. When you open up your box, it's going to say, read your heart out on the inside with Book of the Month YA and then they just have some fun little doodles on the inside which I think is awesome. Um, now what I think I love the most is that your books come wrapped up like this so they're all wrapped up together and I like that because today is a very rainy day. My box was wet but my books are not because they are wrapped up well. So we're going to just cut into the box so i did like i said get a book of the month and then i have two backlist novels that i was interested in so let's just dive in okay so to keep your books um sort of together and i guess packaged neatly they do add a cardboard it just says share the love get a free book for every friend that signs up through your referral link and it tells you your referral link again i have an affiliate link so you can just click it down below but i think this is cute you do get a book of the month um bookmark um i think they need to stop sending these and make some book of the month ya bookmarks in pink it just would make sense to just you know take the whole brand further i mentioned that in another one of my previous unboxings but we have the three books okay so the first book i went with for my book of the month pick for december is going to be heartstrings and other breakable things by jacqueline ferkins again this is a debut novel contemporary romance i don't know much about it but we're going to get into how Book of the Month kind of specially prints their books. So basically, they have their logo on the top here that says Book of the Month on the spines as well as on the back with the month and year. So it says December 2019 with the little heart. And then their covers or pretty, yeah, their book covers without the dust jacket are always dual tone, so two colors. So this one is going to be sort of like... A brick red with a true kind of tan color with gold foiling and again it says book of the month with the I think the year and the month on it yes so that is how they print their books which is awesome but let's get into what this book is about because I have no idea it was just one of the books that I decided to go with for my pick so let's dive in Mansfield Massachusetts is the last place 17 year old Eddie Price wants to spend her final summer before college it's the home of wealthy suburbanites and prima donnas like Eddie's cousins who are determined to distract her from her mother's death with cute boys and Cinderella style makeovers. Eddie has her own plans and they don't include a prince charming. But as Eddie dives into schoolwork and applying for college scholarships, she finds herself drawn to two Mansfield boys who start buying for her attention. First, there's Sebastian, Eddie's childhood friend and first love. He's sweet, smart, and already has a girlfriend. Then there's Henry, the local bad boy and all-around player. He's totally off-limits, even if his kisses are chemically addictive. Both boys are trouble. Eddie can't help but get caught between them. Someone's heart is going to break. Now she just has to make sure it isn't hers. That actually sounds like it's going to be a cute, funny read, and I'm excited. Um, I think this has some really pretty... Aw, okay, so the chapter headers are so cute. They're really cute. They look like that. Um, I just like cute little details on books to me. And the only reason why I knew they were chapter headers is because, I don't know if you guys can see this little line here. So I knew that they were chapter headers. But um, on the back, it says crush. It's a noun. The first definition is the act of squeezing, compression, or forcing inward. The second definition is a brand of orange soda pop that would horrify your aunt if you drink it in her house. The third, a feeling you deny to everyone because you're totally focusing on your education, not your love life, but secretly you've been obsessing about this guy for years. Now you're about to talk to him and your social anxiety has skyrocketed so you think you might just vomit and that is cute so this is definitely going to be a cute YA contemporary romance read for me so we have this as my one of my December picks for book of the month YA okay so my second pick is going to be a debut novel that was released in September so it was definitely a part of their September 2019 books and it's historical fantasy and that's going to be the 10,000 doors of January by Alex E. 
Haro, and I just thought this sounded really awesome. All I know is that this deals with the main character that finds a book that opens up to strange new worlds. It kind of has the sort of strange the dreamer vibes just a little bit as far as like the book really having to do with worlds. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I know that Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes did a video review for this, so you can just click the on screen and go to her channel and watch that. But I think this is a gorgeous cover. This cover is really pretty. I just love anything floral. But again, you have your Book of the Month logo here on the spine as well as on the back. This one is going to be black and purple, which is really cute with gold foiling. And I forgot to mention that even on the spines of the book, you also have your Book of the Month logo, which is great. But does this have anything cute? Oh, yes, that's so pretty. So all the chapter headers are super cute. They have this sort of keyhole. If I can find a chapter, here we go. They look like that. They have keyholes on like the chapters. So they're so stinking cute. Okay, so we're just going to read the inside flap of what this book says. When one enters a door, one must be brave enough to see the other side. In a sprawling mansion filled with peculiar treasures, January Scholar is a curiosity herself. As the ward of the wealthy Mr. Locke, she feels a little different from the artifacts that decorate the halls, carefully maintained, largely ignored, and utterly out of place. Then she finds a strange book, a book that carries a sense of other worlds and tells a tale of secret doors of love, adventure, and danger. Each page turn reveals impossible truths about the world, and January discovers a story increasingly entwined with her own. Step into the world of January Scholar and Alex E. Harrell's spellbinding date. You. So that just sounds like it's going to be a really fun ride. I can't wait to dive in and here is the second pick. Okay, my third pick for this box specifically is going to be another backlist release. This is a May 2019 contemporary fiction and that is going to be With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I have not read The Poet X. I probably should. I do own it on my my e-reader but I, I just haven't read it. Um, all I know is that this deals with a young girl who has a baby and she loves cooking. It's pretty much all that I know. Um, and this cover just looks super fun and delicious, like, I'm here for it. I know that the actual book you buy, um, has a really, really pretty sort of, um, book cover without the dust jacket, but this, again, is going to be Book of the Month YA. So you have your Book of the Month logo here, here, on the back. This book is going to be sort of, is this like an eggplant color? I guess an eggplant purple with orange and gold foiling, which is gorgeous. Your book of the month, oop, book of the month YA logo is there. And this just looks delicious all around. Um, quickly, I want to show you guys the chapter headers because I think they're so delicious. So, um, just look at that. So look, just, oh, delicious. Um, so your chapter headers are going to include some things like this. Which I believe that is mint. Looks like mint leaves. Um, you have uh, vanilla. If I'm not mistaken, that probably is vanilla. Don't know. Um, I'm not a cook. <laughs> you know, I cook for fun. Um, you have this here. You have various types of headers. So I'm just like, the headers all change and deal with the images on the cover. Which is super cute. But um, it's YA contemporary fiction. So let's just dive in and see what this book is about. Ever since she got pregnant freshman year, Imani Santiago's life has been about making the tough decisions, doing what has to be done for her daughter and her abuela. The one place she can let all that go is in the kitchen. There she lets her hands tell her what to cook, listening to her intuition, and adding a little something magical every time, turning her food into straight up goodness. Even though she's always dreamed of working in a kitchen after she graduates, Imani knows that it's not worth her time to pursue the impossible. Yet, despite the rules she's made for her life and everyone else's rules, which she refuses to play by, once Amani starts cooking, her only choice is to let her talent break free. From the author of National Book Award winner, The Poet X, comes a dazzling story of a girl with a talent, pride, and a drive to create that keeps her fire burning bright. And that just sounds like it's going to be a delicious sort of read. I know that there are recipes. Like I said, here is one of the recipes. This one is Imani's When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Lemon Verbena Tim Timblake. I don't, I'm probably butchering it, but it's, it's a recipe. So there are recipes in here, which looks like it's going to be delicious to try these out. But um, yeah, I'm excited and I just, I really love this cover. So quickly, just letting you guys know that there's actually a difference between Book of the Month YA books or Book of the Month books in general versus regular hardcovers. I'm going to compare it to The Queen of Nothing. 
for you guys. So if you guys can see, it is a little bit taller and a little bit wider than most of the books that we buy at like Barnes and Nobles or get from Amazon. Book of the Month books are specifically printed by Book of the Month, so they're going to be different, but they all look good together on our shelf. You can't tell me the shelf ain't cute, right? Right. So I will be doing um, a sort of overview of all of my Book of the Month books. I am starting a TBR draw for Book of the Month, which is already here. That I'll be starting in um, January of 2020 because of all of my Book of the Month books, I have 39, I believe, total, including these books that I just got, plus the other two boxes I have because I have another Book of the Month YA box coming and I have my Book of the Month box coming. All of them had three books each. So, yeah. So... Of all these books, I've only read three, and um, I do want to reread the three that I read because of the three, I only enjoyed one of those books that I read. So I figured I would start one of those, and I'm going to be putting them in this Tivana um, kind of tea canister. It's literally from Tivana, as Tivana is no longer open. I already wrote all of the names, and I took a hint from Princess over at the Castle Library. And um, I wrote them on paper, but then I stapled them. I noticed that in her, she stapled hers together um, in her little TBR jar. And it saves so much room. So I have room to grow in here. I do have another one of these, which is right here, that I'm going to use for standalone novels that I want to read. Because I have a lot of series. And um, yeah, we're not going to talk about series. But I'm going to make one for all of my standalones, which is going to go here. And then I'm going to have a separate jar that I'm going to pick up or just use one of my mugs to use for my series and do that. Because I really, typically I read anywhere from 15 to 20 books in a month. Um, but I typically have a lot of review books. And definitely next year I want to be mindful of the books that I am requesting for review because I have too many books. And my family and I do plan to move next year. So it's going to be a hassle trying to move um, because my bookshelves are like over the top filled to the brim. So yeah, like if I show you guys the bottom two rows of my bookshelf, you would be like, what the hell? They're stuffed. Um, but yeah, these are all of my book of the month books, book of the month YA, except for carry on is not book of the month. I just have it there because I have wayward on here. But um, yeah, so the next clip you see hopefully will be the same day or it'll be a different day. But me sharing with you the second box that I have for book of the month why hey okay guys so I'm back and I just um got the other package so this was the first package that I got from book of the month by a and we already went through these three books so now we are going to move on to the second package which is here and I'm so excited so I already ripped the box open and we're going to take the books out okay so again packaged up properly going to cut into the packaging i'm actually really excited for this one this was actually the, the one i placed the other one was the one that i got as a gift but ooh, so pretty so pretty yeah the cardboard again another bookmark which thousands of these i'll just put that there and let's move on to my picks okay so my actual book of the month pick for december is going to be dangerous alliance by jenanique jenanique cohan i'm probably butchering that name um it's an ostentatious romance and this is going to be historical romance and i believe this has to do with jane austen if i'm not mistaken i don't know everything but here is how it looks i love the colors and the cover in general here's your book of the month logo on the spine on the back and then the actual book is going to be black and white with gold foiling and on the spine as well i love everything about this so i want it to the inside synopsis of what it says on the inside flap lady victoria aston has everything she could want an older sister happily wed the future of her family estate secure and ample opportunity to while her time away in the fields around her home. But Vicky's comfortable, idyllic life is overturned in the course of one night. Her sister's husband is a terrible cad, and now Vicky must marry or find herself and her family destitute. Armed only with the wisdom she has gained from her beloved novels by Jane Austen, she enters society's treacherous season. Sadly, Miss Austen has little to say about Vicky's particular circumstances. Whether the gorgeous and roguish Mr. Carmichael is indeed a scoundrel, if her former best friend, the much-grown and very handsome Tom Sherborne, is out for her dowry or for her heart, 
or even how to fend off the attentions of the foppish Mr. Silby, he of the unfortunate fashion sensibility. Most unfortunate of all, Vicky's books are silent on the topic of the mysterious accidents cropping up around her, accidents that could prevent her from surviving until her wedding day. Sound like it's going to be awesome and epic. I love this cover page. It's really gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. I love chapter headers. They're just gorgeous to me. So I think this book is just, in general, gorgeous altogether. And I'm excited to read it. So we have this. The next one is going to be YA Contemporary Fiction. And it sounded good. And I like the cover, so that's why I got it. And this is Full Disclosure by Carmen Garrett. Um, this cover is gorgeous to me. I love the colors on this. It's just blue and purples. I love it. So here's the logo on the front, the spine, the back. This is an October 2019 pick. The book itself is going to... Ooh, that is gorgeous. It's going to be a cobalt blue and purple with gold foiling. That is gorgeous. Logo on the spine there. And what I do know from what I've heard is that this has to do with a young girl that has HIV. Um, but I'm going to read the synopsis so you guys can get a full grasp of it. Simone Garcia Hampton is starting over at a new school, and this time things will be different. She's making real friends, making a name for herself as student director of Rent. I love Rent. The, the movie it was it was so good. Um, and making googly eyes at Miles. The guy who makes her feel like she's the most important person in the room. The last thing she wants is for the word to get out that she's HIV positive because last time the backlash nearly crushed her. When Simone and Miles start dating for real, she's introduced to a whole new world of longing. As sex becomes more and more of a possibility, Simone knows she has to tell him she's positive, but she's terrified of how he'll react. Then she finds an anonymous note in her locker, one that threatens to expose her if she does not break up with Miles. As much as Simone wants to keep her secret and keep her new life intact, she knows there's only one option. Taking charge and controlling her own truth, even if that means doing what she fears most and risking her chance at first love. That sounds like it's going to be really like heart gripping and just sad. And I'm not prepared for a book that's going to make me cry out my eyes. But um, yeah, it sounds epic. Can't wait to read it. Looks like it's going to be a, a quick read. Um, how many pages is this book? 300 pages or so so um yeah i'm excited to dive into this lastly is another ya contemporary fiction i don't know i've just i basically have all of the fantasy novels that i want um <laughs> from book of the month so anytime i do get new books for the month i go back and look for fantasy but i've gotten most of them so i'm now diving into the contemporary so that's just what i've been in the mood for um but this one is called color me in by natasha diaz i've heard some really good things about this um it's about a girl who is mixed and trying to i guess learn where she fits in if that makes sense but um i love the cover it's gorgeous so here we go book of the month on the top on the spine this is an august 2019 pick so you have the heart that says august 2019 the the illustration on this cover is gorgeous the book itself is going to be navy blue with a sort of like tan color with gold foiling and there it is on the spine this is gorgeous um, like really gorgeous, but on the back, I'm going to read what it says. I'm tired. My cousin Jordan goes on tired of people like you who think it's my job to make you feel better about your internal struggle when you barely recognize the one that rests on the surface of my skin. If you want to be with us, then you've got to be about us. And that takes more than blood running through your veins. Ooh, that sounds like it's going to be some hard hidden info. All right. <laughs> so reading the inside flap, who is Nevaeh Livitz? I think that's how you said that, Livitz. Growing up in an affluent suburb of New York City, 16-year-old Nevaeh Livitz has never thought much about her biracial roots. When her black mom and Jewish dad split up, she relocates to her mom's family home in Harlem and is forced to confront her identity for the first time. Nevaeh wants to get to know her extended family, but because she is inadvertently passes as white, her cousin thinks she's too privileged and pampered and selfish to relate to the injustices African Americans face on a daily basis. In the meantime, Nevaeh's dad decides that she should have a belated bat mitzvah instead of a sweet 16, which guarantees social humiliation at her posh private school. But rather than take a stand, Nevaeh does what she's always done when life gets complicated. She stays silent. Only when Nevaeh stumbles upon a secret from her mom's past, finds herself falling in love, and sees firsthand the prejudice her family faces, does she begin to realize she has a voice and choices. 
Will she continue to let circumstances dictate her path, or will she decide once and for all who and where she is meant to be? From debut author Natasha Diaz comes a powerful novel about the meaning of friendship, the joyful beginnings of romance, and the racism and religious intolerance that can both strengthen a family's bond and strain it to the breaking point. Okay, another one of those hard-hitting books that's probably going to make me cry. So yeah, um, we have this as a pick. Okay, so now running through all of my picks <laughs> for the month, um, I'm going to run through the five picks you can pick again for December. So the first one is going to be by Geraldine McCoffrin. I think that's how you say that, and it's Where the World Ends. That is historical fiction. The next one is going to be Reverie by Ryan LaSala, which is fantasy. You can also pick The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, which is obviously fantasy, like Duh. But I already have a copy, so I wasn't able to pick it as my book of the month pick, which is perfectly fine. Um, the only thing to know is yours won't have gold foiling, but it will be the same color just with the book of the month logo on it, which is really pretty. So we have that as an option. The next one is going to be Contemporary and it's Heartstrings and Other Breakable Things by Jacqueline Perkins. Then we have Historical Romance, which is Dangerous Alliance by Jenanique Cohan. I'm probably saying that name wrong. <laughs> Moving on, I have an October 2019 pick from Book of the Month YA, and that's going to be Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. This is going to be contemporary fiction. Next, I have a historical fantasy that's 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. Another contemporary fiction is going to be Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. And another contemporary fiction, which is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth S. Acevedo. Acevedo? Yes, Acevedo. I think that's how you say that. But um, that is that. So again, quickly, here are my backlist picks for my December box. And then my actual December picks are going to be these three books here. I did not get Queen of Nothing with Book of the Month by A, but it is an option, which is why I'm showing it. But yes, we have those books there. I'm excited to find a way to stick these on my shelf. As you can see, my shelf is extremely packed. I'm still waiting for my book of the month, uh, I'm going to call it book of the month adult, to come in the mail. That should be here soon. Hopefully tomorrow. If not tomorrow, sometime by Friday it should be here. So that video will be coming. But I'm excited for all of these books. I can't wait. And I just think they're awesome. So that's pretty much it for this video. If, again, you want to sign up for book of the month by A, my affiliate link is down below. I get a credit and I believe you get $5 off. You can sign up for your first box and get it for $5 if you use the code YES5. And I believe that's it. So if you guys get book of the month by A or book of the month, leave down below in the comment section which books you picked or which books you have gotten. If you do have a video up already, let me know by leaving your link down below and yeah so thank you guys for subscribing if you're not subscribed subscribed and if you are subscribed click the bell to stay notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye